The following is brought to you by House Call Pro. Check out the link in the summary after the video for your free trial. All right, I've shown you guys this tool before. This is the Navac Schrader Core Removal Tool, and we're gonna do a quick video on changing a live Schrader. Stay tuned. Okay, so this service valve here is at the perfect angle and location for us to demo this tool and show you guys exactly how to change a live Schrader core. So first we're going to remove the cap. So because this is a two-in-one, we removed the other fitting. So we get the quarter inch side and what I do is I pull the rod all the way out and close the ball valve and make sure the fittings are all tight before I attach it to the system. Okay, so now we're attached. Now we gotta open the ball valve up, okay, and then insert the rod which has the Schrader core tool on it, all right? Basically, that's gonna go inside and grab the core, and then we spin the rod so we turn the core out, and then when the core is loose, I'll show you that step next. Okay, so everything is closed and tight. The ball valve is open. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the rod down and we're going to try to find that Schrader. And once you find it, you'll know because you, you can feel it grabbing. You can feel it grabbing it. Okay, so what I usually do is I keep my fingertip here on the end and I just start to rotate because it's under pressure, so once that Schrader comes out, so you gotta have to apply a little bit of pressure in the other direction. So once you feel like you've got that Schrader core and it's popped out of place, we're gonna let this slide back and we're gonna close the ball valve. Okay, the ball valve is closed and we're going to loosen this off very carefully because there's gonna be some pressure behind there. And when you pull it out, you should have the core right there. And it looks like this core has a bit of damage. So I'm actually glad we pulled that out. So we're going to prep the new core and we're going to get it into place. Okay, so we have the new core and we have some nylock. All right, I also have a new cap because the other cap was plastic. We're going to put a brass cap on. So what we're going to do on the threads of the core, we're going to apply a touch of nylog. Not a lot, just a touch, okay? We just kind of wipe away the excessive nylog. So next what we want to do is we want to get our core removal tool ready with the core and we just want to insert it in there like that and it sits in nice, you can shake it around and it doesn't fall off. Okay so we have our ball valve closed and we're going to insert the core removal tool and we're going to tighten up this brass fitting okay so what we're gonna do now is now that's tight is we're gonna open up the tool and we're going to insert the core removal tool down into the fitting and again I'm gonna hold my finger here as I tighten because there's some pressure there and you can feel it tightening up and you don't want to go uh, too tight because you can actually snap or damage the core. So once we get to a certain point, we just kind of hand tighten it and back this out all the way. Once we back that out, we're going to close this off. I'm going to pull the core removal tool out and I'm just going to open it up slightly just to make sure that we have no pressure behind there before I pull this off. So this core is changed out now. So now we can remove this. 
got the body off. We have a brand new core in there, all set. And as always, we're gonna use a little bit of nylog on the seat and tighten down the cap. So that's it guys. Core removal tool, we just changed the core under pressure on a live system. That's it guys, happy HVACing.